I would say the training piece and the nutrition piece are key when it comes to health that many people are missing, including uh, with our friends in functional medicine and certainly conven conventional medicine. Mitochondria health is when it becomes dysfunctional is one of the hallmarks of aging. And there's a wonderful paper uh, that was originally published in two 2013 that covers the hallmarks of aging. And when you look at the hallmarks of aging, you see mitochondria dysfunction. And again, as you had mentioned, mitochondria are these little organelles that are responsible for energy production. For humans, and when we think about skeletal muscle, we really think about these type one fibers. And these type one fibers are very, they're small in a cross-sectional area, and they are very mitochondrial dense, metabolically active, and can be trained. And they are trained through endurance type activities. This becomes critical for the health of mitochondria because you do need to change, you do need to train them and you want to improve mitophagy. Mitophagy sounds a lot like autophagy, which is the cleaning out of old mitochondria. And this becomes important when we think about aging. And I would say the biggest impact that we can have here is through training skeletal muscle. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I think about that. I mean, there, there are studies where they've shown a, a few things I'll mention here, just to add to what you're saying. The average 70 year old has lost 75% of their mitochondrial capacity, skeletal muscle mitochondrial capacity. That's interesting. I love that. And, um, yeah. and it's been shown that lifelong exercisers don't lose 75% of yeah. their mitochondrial capacity. They have the same uh, capacity as as younger young adults do. And there are studies where they've specifically taken older adults who are who have lost a lot of their mitochondrial capacity, put them on an eight week or 12 week exercise program and shown 50 70% increases, I mean, massive increases in just two or three months of training. So there, there's no there's no supplement and no drug that can do that. It is pretty profound and improvements can always be seen, which mm -hmm. is what is so fascinating is that it doesn't matter if you are in your 80s, 75, 80, it's never too late and you do see improvements in mitochondrial health.